Pneumonia can be caused by many different bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites. This video will focus on diagnosis of readily culturable bacterial causes. Common causes of community-associated pneumonia include Streptococcus pneumoniae, Staphylococcus aureus, Chlamydophilia pneumoniae, Mycoplasma pneumoniae, and Haemophilus influenza. Common bacteria in the hospital, or for those on recent antibiotics, include E. coli, Pseudomonas, Staphylococcus aureus, and Klebsiella. A sputum sample should be collected from deep within the lungs, avoiding contamination with saliva. Normal oral flora is frequently found in sputum samples submitted to the laboratory, potentially leading to inaccurate diagnosis. It is very important to ensure that samples are not contaminated with saliva or respiratory secretions. Patients on ventilators can often develop pneumonia. Respiratory secretions can be sampled from these patients via a sputum trap. Unfortunately, salivary contamination is still a problem with endotracheal tubes, as secretions can run down beside an underinflated cuff. Contamination is suggested by the presence of epithelial cells. Bronchoalveolar lavage is an option for high quality, but invasive, sampling. Fill out the requisition using the patient's name and another unique identifier. Remember, Date of birth is not a unique identifier. As with any other bacterial culture, the quality of results is inversely proportional to the non-refrigerated time before arriving at the lab. In the lab, samples are immediately gram-stained and are graded for quality using a Q-score. Zero is extremely poor, and three is very good quality. A poor Q-score has many epithelial cells and different morphotypes of bacteria, suggesting contamination by oral flora. A good quality Q-score has many neutrophils and few epithelial cells. Samples of sufficient quality or critical clinical importance are plated on a number of media for identification. Blood agar is used for identification of gram-positive cocci. McConkie plates for isolation of aerobic gram-negative rods. Chocolate for isolation of haemophilus and Legionella plates if this pathogen is suspected. Streptococcus pneumoniae is one of the most important pathogens. Emerging resistance to penicillin is a growing problem worldwide and requires antibiotic susceptibility testing. Oxacillin is used as a surrogate for penicillin. If it is resistant, further testing is carried out with other antibiotics. Haemophilus influenza is another important pathogen. It is a gram-negative coccobacillus that grows on chocolate but not blood agar. Antibiotic testing initially involves the beta-lactamase test. If this is positive, further susceptibility can also be carried out. Sputum gram stains can be done quickly, yielding important information. However, as we have discussed, definitive identification and antibiotic susceptibility usually requires an additional day of testing.